So, you all probably know that the new Claude Computer Use API has been released. In today's video, we're going to put it to the test by seeing how it performs on programming tasks and if it's capable of completing them successfully. Welcome to AI Labs and let's dive in. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out and ensures you won't miss any of the cool tools and tips we've got coming your way. So, we've already made a video covering the setup in a basic demo, but now let's dive into how much it can actually help with programming and whether it's capable of fully taking over the coding process. Okay, so we got this prompt from ChatGPT and we're going to try building a simple budget manager app using the Claude Computer Use API. Let's see how it goes. So this prompt took about six minutes and then the computer use API gave us an error. It ran out of tokens because the prompt was too long. Now we'll try using shorter prompts, but first, I want to show you what it managed to achieve before hitting the token limit. The first thing I noticed was the safety feature in Claude AI. When I asked it to access its own site, it informed me that it couldn't sign into other websites, so it couldn't complete the task. This is a great safety feature for protecting privacy in situations where it's really needed. The next thing I want to highlight is that it was able to install dependencies in the terminal, like Node.js and NPM, and even verified they were downloaded by checking their versions. So the tokens ran out while it was generating the file structure for the front end. Now I have to give it prompts in smaller divided parts. For that, I went to chat GPT with the same prompt and broke it down into smaller pieces, as you can see on the screen. I grouped some of these pieces together and started giving them to the computer use API. So, as I mentioned, I'm going to take the first parts of the prompt I showed you and give them to the Claude computer use API. It'll start generating my app step by step. So, the application has been set up with the basic file structure it needed, as specified in the prompt. It also provided the commands if you want to check it out. Now let's move on to the next set of instructions and see if it can complete the project. Next, I'll ask the AI to set up the app's UX design, which will include routing and the general layout. It will also handle installing any additional dependencies using the terminal. It's now telling us that the routing and API structure have been set up. Now that that's done, let's move on to the next step, generating the entire app, including the front end, and connecting everything. We'll provide further prompts as we go. Now something unfortunate happened. When I gave the last two prompts for making the front end, Claude started giving me errors and then suddenly became unresponsive. It prompted me to refresh the page, and upon doing so, it wiped the entire project clean. From this testing, we can conclude that, as of now, Claude Computer Use is capable of performing tasks in the terminal, but it can't generate code like Claude 3.5. It does show potential, however, as in the demo video by Claude themselves, where they demonstrate coding. But during my testing, I encountered frequent errors, clashes, and interruptions, and eventually it became unresponsive. It prompted me to refresh the page, which resulted in losing my project. That said, I'm not saying this won't improve. Claude computer use will certainly get better over time. With the technology that Claude provides, it could become a very powerful AI tool in the future. Well, that wraps it up for today. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep exploring.